Hey everyone, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and welcome to the recap of the April 2019 Chemnitz Dialogue. This month I was inspired by my favorite spring flower, the glory of the snow, which are these little violet sized flowers that have this sort of periwinkle outside, a tiny little yellow center, and these purplish pink stems. When I was growing up in southern Indiana, we, our yard was covered in these flowers in the springtime and I absolutely loved it. And as soon as we moved in to our house, I purchased I think 200 bulbs. I planted them all along my gardens and in my yard. And fingers crossed that these will eventually take over and spread everywhere because I love them. The first yarns that we started with were sort of my, I guess, test colorway. I sort of wanted to see what these colors would do. I used Dharma Brilliant Yellow, Delphinium Blue, and finally Emerald Green. One of the reasons why I picked Delphinium Blue is, well, the final color is sort of perfect for what I wanted, but I really wanted to play with dry powders and go for something that felt a little impressionistic. And I knew that the Delphinium Blue powders break into blue and sort of this pink. And so I was hoping that this would help me pull in all these colors I wanted together onto our yarn. When you are speckling yarn on your countertop, you don't necessarily, you won't necessarily get speckles that are as sharp as if you were doing low immersion. Because while yes, the yarn has vinegar um, and water in it, so that way the dyes can dissolve a bit, they, you don't have any heat. So it's not necessarily gonna start setting right away. Plus, as you manipulate the yarn with your hands and move it around to access other sections, you're going to spread out this dye a bit. But we do have these, this really nice mix of color spreads and sharp speckles. And I just absolutely love how this turned out. Is this the best representation of my inspiration photo? <sighs> Not necessarily. But I love what we created so much that I kind of don't really care. I'm not sure that I would have picked to use these colors in this way together. I mean, doing blue, yellow, and green is sort of an obvious color combination, but I was really excited for those pops of pink. And I would have been okay if we got some brown because there's some brown in the picture, but I just love how this turned out. So the first yarns that we dyed were Nitpick Stroll, which is 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon. Next, I went and grabbed some Galileo, which is only 50% Merino and 50% Viscose from Bamboo. And so what happens with this yarn is you're really only dyeing half of it. And so you end up with something a little more muted, a little heathered looking, and it's still a lot of fun. I wasn't quite speckling here, I was kind of using my fingertips to just spread these colors all around, um, but it was definitely more vibrant in the live stream than it looks right now. Right now we have something that feels fairly muted. There's a few different intensities of green, some not even quite, but barely some hints of a yellow green, and then we've got this periwinkle where some is a little more blue and some is a little more pink. This one definitely feels watercolor-ish, impressionistic. There are a couple of speckles, but overall it's mostly not a speckled yarn. Oh, there's some yellow, uh, but it's beautiful and I really like it. Finally, I grabbed one more hank of Nitpick Stroll and really wanted to use this to help us use up all of this leftover dye that we had around because I don't, I didn't want to put it back in the containers and we had some in the cups. And so I thought it would be fun to play a little bit. In this game, I sort of focused the yellow in one area mostly and our delphinium blue in one area. And you can still see some pink speckles. The blue spread a bit more than the pink. And then we have some of these green speckles throughout um, as I was just using up what was left and really trying to leave no dye behind. Honestly, 
this goes with the inspiration really well as well. We've got that blue from the glory of the snow, some of the yellow from our daffodils, and then the green from all of the greenery. And yeah, I really like how this came out. I wouldn't call this colorway repeating because these blue sections are bigger in some areas and shorter in the others, but I would call it maybe semi-repeating in that, you know, every round you're going to have some yellow and some blue, um, but there's still sort of a randomness to it. But I think you definitely could get some pooling with the yellows and blues depending on the technique that you're using. Finally, it is time for my favorite part of the Chemnitz Dialong recap. And now I'm going to show some of your pictures of the yarn that you dyed inspired by my glory of the snow and the forest of daffodils. Uh, this month there's a lot more variety, I think, in the colors that you took from the picture, which is awesome and fun. I love it when you look, everyone will look at the picture and choose slightly different techniques and different creates different kinds of colorways. It makes it so, so much fun. For a chance to be featured in next month's Dialong Recap, make sure you share your yarn that you dyed based on my inspiration photo on Instagram with the hashtag ChemnitzDialong or add it as a comment on the pin post on the uh, Chemnitz Facebook page. Uh, you can find more information about this in the video description. If you want to support the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel and the content we create, there are a few ways to do that. Uh, one, you can go check out the Chemnitz Patreon, which is a platform where you can subscribe to this channel, get some bonus content, and it's just a lot of fun. But if you'd rather have something a little more tangible, you can go and check out the Chemnitz Creations Etsy shop, which is filled of yarn that has been featured in these dyeing videos. And not just the Chemnitz Dialongs, but Dye Pot Weekly, Leave No Behind, all of the yarn, except for the occasional ones that I keep for my own personal collection, eventually end up in the shop. And when you purchase yarn, not only do you get awesome hand dyed yarn, but you're helping me create more content and get more supplies. So it's sort of the best win-win-win ever. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel. Give this video a like, smash that bell icon to turn on notifications, and leave a comment below. You engaging with these videos by watching, commenting, and liking is the biggest absolute thing that you can do to support the channel. Because when you interact with these videos, then YouTube will suggest them to more people. And so it's just really, really helpful. And plus, I love hearing what you think because it really helps me shape the content for future videos. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and thank you so much for watching.